In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, S-E-T-J-M, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass, Thursday of the 21st week of Ordinary Time. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, in the first reading, St. Paul praises God for all that he has done in the hearts of the faithful. Previously, he honored the fidelity of the Thessalonians because they received the word of the gospel, not as the words of men, but as the word of God, which it truly is. What is the fruit of an authentic relationship with Christ, who is truly alive in the Eucharist and in his living word? St. Paul prays for this today. May the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another, so as to strengthen your hearts to be blameless in holiness before God our Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his holy ones. There are two particular fruits of a living encounter with Christ and his word. First, to abound in love, and second, to be blameless in holiness before God the Father. Every time we ask the Holy Spirit to help us to live the gospel, not to argue, not to fight anymore, not to have to be first or to be right, but really to be grateful for the love of God that has changed us and to be content with humbly serving our brothers and sisters. We are abounding in love. Prayer with the Word of God is a personal annunciation that leads to a personal visitation of those we're called to serve, just like Our Lady who served Elizabeth. To be blameless before the Father means to live a coherent life. Are we perfect? No. Are we going to make mistakes? Yes. But have we taken the steps to renounce sin, especially grave sin from our life? The entertainment that we watch, the conversations that we have, being compassionate toward the poor, all of these reveal the integrity of a truly Christian life. My brothers and sisters, how do we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the holy ones? St. Paul tells us today to abound in love and trusting in the Lord's mercy to really seek holiness. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. The heart of Jesus has been opened wide. Grace has been poured forth. Now it is only necessary that we actively and responsibly cooperate in the transformation of our hearts by an authentic life of holiness and go forth generously and with ardor in the fulfillment of our mission. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.